I'm Jeremy, and today we're going to be replacing ignition coils on this 2010 Nissan Altima. The ignition coils on this are going to be replaced with TRQ ignition coils because they are rigorously tested at the factory. I know they're super high quality because I've used them in the past, and I know they're going to fit right. So let's get started. So we're going to take a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, and we're going to loosen up these three bolts that are right in the engine cover and that will give us access to the ignition coils. All right, with those loose, now we can pull the cover off, and you'll see the four ignition coils. So these are your four ignition coils, and each one has a 10 millimeter bolt holding it down, and then there's a connector with each one. So they're all removed the exact same way, and they're all actually the same exact part. So to to remove one, you just disconnect the connector, like that. You do that by pushing down on the little pin here, and then you can slide it back. And then you can use either a wrench or a 10 millimeter socket to remove this, this bolt right here. And these things are not held in very tight, so once you crack them loose, you can usually just take the screw out by hand. And then, all you gotta do is twist it a little bit and pull up and it should pop right out. When you put the new coil in, what you want to do is put a little dielectric grease right here, and that allows it to slide down in the hole nice and easy and make good contact with the spark plug. So, you can pop it down right there, put your 10 millimeter back in, make sure you start it by hand, and just snug this up. You just want to basically use your wrist to snug it up. If, you, if you're starting to use your, your muscle in your elbow, that's probably too much force. These things are just, they're just held in place by this. You don't have to crank them down crazy. Then, of course, you plug it back in like that, and your coil's installed. All right, so we just replaced this one coil, but all the coils are exactly the same. You can, you can pull each one the same, uh, pull it out the same exact way, and clip it in the same exact way. So, we are now going to put the engine cover back on, like this. And then, we'll use our same 5 millimeter Allen wrench to get the holes screwed back into where they belong. Alright, now it's complete.